There's a tennis court. Puck to it. And there's a swimming pool. See you later, Bart. <laughs> I'll never wash this hand again. Now, by now, most probably you're aware of a certain person who was just chilling with her friend one night at a night out. And a guy, a street interviewer, came forward and said, what is a thing that can drive a guy crazy? And with that interview, a lot of heads were turned and also a lot of heads were turned. Um, oh, you, you gotta didn't... give him that hawk to and spit on that thing. You get me? <laughs> I, I don't get you. I think you gotta uh, demonstrate. Hawk to and spit no, like... on it. Spit on it! If you do not know what a hawk tour means, basically it is the fastest way to a man's heart. And according to Google, hawk tour refers to a distinctive sound of a vigorous spitting action. And if you still do not know what a hawk tour means, come here, let me show you. What the fuck website you think this is? But still, if you do not know the meaning of distinctive sound of a vigorous spitting action, it goes basically like this. <laughs> Okay, shit, that was disgusting. <laughs> but ever since the Haktua situation, her life has changed. I'm talking about bodyguards now. I'm talking about her starting the Mets games. I'm talking about podcasts, interviews. B bodyguard, did I say bodyguards? People are literally paying her and inviting her to have a podcast with her. Why? Because she is trending at the time. It's called Haktua or nah. And you tell me if you want a Haktua on that thing or no. Nah. Uh, Donald Trump. No, absolutely not. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It's a no for me. Okay, yeah. it's no. Uh, Jake Paul. No, I'm happy to say hawk. A hawk? I'm yeah. I'm happy to say hawk. <laughs> Josh Richards. Do you guys know who Josh Richards is? He's getting a hawk. He's getting a hawk? He's getting a hawk. Yeah, Josh Richards, everyone thinks he's like the hottest person in the oh, world. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I know this is off topic, but I had to search up who Josh Richards is, and I know this guy. If he's hot... We can all be hot as well with one trick and one trick only. <laughs> and obviously the hawk twa thing is a very sexual thing. And a lot of people has been asking for an OF. Miss Haley, do you have an OF? We want to see you do a hawk tour, And this is what you responded. Stop asking me for the link in bio for my OnlyFans. I don't have an OnlyFans and there will never be an OnlyFans. I just, I just make funny jokes. That's all I do. Hawk to hawk. And by the way, there's one more thing that's really pissing me off. Any of you selling or purchasing merchandise online, it's not from me. It's not approved by me, and it's counterfeit, and I'm not making a damn dime off of any of it. But don't worry, I'm launching my merch store very soon, and you'll be the first to know to get your official Hawk Tua merch from me. It's funny how when a person gets famous, right ahead you're gonna start a merch up and her case is a very very special case and 100 percent she should have started this the hawk Tua 2024 <laughs> i swear to god if i see you in public wearing a hawk Tua girl i am pointing at you and laughing in your face if a guy wears it hawk Tua 2024 what what does that mean does this guy give a hawk Tua 9000 guac guac and if a girl wears it as well she's going to have creeps around her at all times trying to ask her a question like this guy do you actually give a hawk Tua or not do you has do you use one hand or two hands do you really hawk tung or were you just having a laugh there i was just having a laugh there <laughs> so you don't you're not a but spitter <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so nice fit. No, nice fit. Is, is it a bit? Well, I got mystery. She also went on a podcast and said that she's afraid to go out alone. Before she used to go in the supermarket, things used to be so chill. She was just doing her thing. Like, I don't know where that accent came from, but that was an intentional. But she said that she cannot go to public places anymore because everyone's going to be always all around her because she's very popular now. And she also said that she's also afraid for her life for getting kidnapped or pew pewed for some reason because maybe some obsessed fan is obsessed with her giving him a guac guac sorry hawk twa it's really strange i can't really go in public by myself anymore i'm paranoid of getting kidnapped or something uh, really i'm used to going in like public and everything and nobody paying me any kind of attention i can just go on about my business i can't go anywhere i had a guy come up to me in walmart he's like i know you 
And I said, uh, no, you don't. And I got my bag and I went to walk away. And he was like, I know you, Mrs. Hawk. And this is the reason why she hired four bodyguards when she's going out. When people saw this, they're like, who does she think she is? She's for the, for, like bodyguards. She, she's been famous for 15 minutes and she's already has like four bodyguards. Because there was a video of you with five security guards. Is that you hiring security because you're paranoid about that? Yes. And I'm little too. So, I mean, I can't really defend myself with big people or nothing like that. Now, usually when a person is trending in the social media bubble, everyone wants to collab with them. Everyone wants to hang out with them because they have so much new audience and they want to take audience off of this person. A lot of content creators slash influencers, they do this and this is a very known trick. But this interaction, I don't believe it was because of that. I believe it was just a... I, I honestly don't know why these two decided to collab. <laughs> What's up? How, how are you doing? I'm good. Doing good, how are you? Nice to meet you. I feel like I'm on the internet right now. Look at us. What's up, brother? You gotta say your thing now. That's awesome. Do the thing! I can't do the thing. It's okay. It's all right. Now, I'm sure they didn't bring this to because, you know, they both give Hawk twas. I'm sure it's not because of that. The way it looks like... I'm sorry about that joke, but I, I couldn't help myself. I thought about this joke, if I should say it or not, for the past 10 minutes, and I decided to... I'm going to go for it. Fuck it. Dislike the video, I don't care. But the way it looks like it was a brand collab where they were promoting the same brand and there was multiple content creators involved in this. But yes, she's a content creator. I don't know. If, I don't even know what she's labeled as. She's labeled as an influencer. What does she influence? She's labeled as a celebrity. Why? I mean, if you really think about it as well, a lot of people got... You know, still a lot of people are angry at this whole situation because she gets famous off of nothing. But if you look at Kim Kardashian, how did she get famous? She actually did the hawk trois and filmed it and that's how she got famous. Out of what? Out of nothing. And now everyone's cool with it. And if she's going to take advantage of the situation, she got a chance of a lifetime. One night she was out and an interview literally changed her life. Might as well go for it. Hawk Twa is a talent and only a small amount of people can perform it. But should she get this popular? Probably not. But if she has the chance, if you had the chance, literally you would have taken advantage of the, all the eyes on you in this situation. She's been paid to go to a lot of events. She's been paid to judge uh, competitions as well. But one thing that really pissed a lot of people off was the, the Mets game that happened two weeks ago and the Hawk Tour girl was the first person to start the pitch. Usually the people who throw the first pitch are famous celebrities or, you know, very honorable people, very respected people. And when they decided to the Mets to bring this Hawk Tour, I don't know if everyone, every celebrity or honorable person was unavailable, but they decided to go with her because she is trending at the time. And maybe they were having fun with it, but no one was happy because article from New York Times says Mets should be ashamed of themselves for Hawk to a girl first pitch on camp day. The fans who came to watch the game and the people watching on the internet after she after that video were just not happy with it because all she said that she will give guac guac to a guy and the guy will be super happy and now she's famous and there are kids watching these games as well and it is 100% not family friendly. What if your kid imagine imagine the kid comes out, mom, who is she? Is she an actor? The mom goes quiet and the dad says that she makes men happy. The hawk tour girl is living the dream right now, but for the wrong reasons. Even she admits said that she wants to change this whole concept because it's really embarrassing and she said that we're trying to step away from it she admitted to the host that i'd rather be known for by my first name not the miss hawk she said that she's steering towards podcasts she wants to do different things things like that and reality tv shows can she do it probably yes i still don't know why people you know admire her maybe she made a lot of husbands happy because the woman finally the wife after 30 years asked do you want a hawk toi? And the man was like, yes, I love you, Miss Hawk toi. You just saved my marriage. Maybe things like that. Maybe people actually, you know, like her as a person because she said she her replies to the Mets game. The reason she was there was to sh share awareness for a charity that she's doing for dog rescues and all these things. She wants to go around, do a lot of these things. I don't know if that's a cover up to do her thing and get paid thousands of dollars just to show up and, you know, people not to shit on her because she's famous for no reason and didn't want people to get pissed off. People want to be like, oh, 
okay, she's actually doing something good. She's ch giving charity. She's saving animals. But if she can take advantage of this situation, she can literally right now start her own brand, not the Hawk Twa, but like makeup brand, whatever it is, and see. She has eyes on her. She can promote it and. People might jump on it. Just one thing I hope she doesn't do. It doesn't start a hook to our cryptocurrency. Buy now and uh, triple your money. Do we have another Kim Kardashian in our hands? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think she deserves the fame that she has right now or not? I was curious how and what she's doing at the time. And I just decided to research it and share it with you as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Take care of yourself. Like, subscribe. You know the rest. I'll catch you at the next one.